the point is that that this fossil is particularly significant, not just because it is the early the earliest uh, pachycephalosaur in the fossil record from the early Cretaceous. It also preserves a beautiful skull, but a beautiful postcranial skeleton as well. So the, yeah. the the rest of the skeleton, it's not totally complete, but you you've got the dome. The rest of the skull bones and you've got the skeleton and and we don't have that many pachycephalosaurs where we have that there's maybe three or four so that's exciting um mm. and it's tiny actually it's it's less than 10 kilos so oh, i didn't notice that yeah there's they've got a, a figure you see figure one if you've got it in front yeah. of you um and it's actually quite hard to see zarbocephalian figure because it's so tiny can you see at the bottom of that figure part c they've sort of shown you maybe two meters wow, tall that's interesting i hadn't noticed the size thing i was too busy looking at so the, 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 this preservation is amazing right the skull is got loads of fine detail it's articulated we've got most cranial post cranial uh, things and as you say you know you named a uh, ankylosaur on one rib right this is uh, <laughs> not not to be rude you did and it uh, you come across as some excellent material later on and this one is amazing material lo lovely stuff but i'd never noticed the size that also raises implications about its biology right if you're less than 10 kilograms i'm just trying to think about what your average goat weighs a lot more than that you know if you're having a sort of headbutting thing these things are going to like completely bounce off each other one assumes if they're headbutting or does this just underscore that they're not headbutting or is it a juvenile I mean, well, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. We'll come to that later we'll on. Come Sorry, Sidney. <laughs>